the next shib is literally right in front of you and many people are going to waste the opportunity. They are going to throw it away, they will sell the bottom and you will see exactly how in today's analysis. So look at monkeys right here. Okay, look at this flat period, which was actually an 82% dip, but it looks like pebbles now, right? Like when you zoom out now, it looks so flat. It looks like nothing. Look at look at SHIB guys. This is so cool. Okay. Look at SHIB. It also had this flat period exactly like monkeys. Okay. Just pay attention, guys, to the pattern. Right? Pay attention. Like I've been saying, this is the next SHIB. It's so clear, it's so obvious. This has the best narrative in all of crypto. Flat period, flat period. Runs up 50x, 40x, just depending where you measure, right here, runs up, it's up around 40x. So it really just depends like exactly where you measure. So it's just crazy that how identical this is to SHIB so far. And guess what, guys? There were people when SHIB dipped 73% right here, okay? There were people who literally sold the bottom right there, and, and, and people will do it again. It happens on Doge, it happens on SHIB, it happens on Floki. Look at Floki. Okay, if you thought, if you think a 75% dip is bad, look at Floki. It dipped 92, 93% before it went up here, 17, 1800%. And so, once again, look at these red candles down here. You see these red candles? Guys, there were people selling their Floki down here before it goes up 17x. Guys, this is crypto. This is how it works. This is just part of the game. And if you are unaware, am I in a winner or not? Am I in something that more and more people are going to find out about or not? If you're unaware, you're doomed to sell, just like the people who sell down here in Floki, just like the people who sold the 73% dip in SHIB right here <laughs> before it goes on to rip. And then look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at this. It rips from there 4,000%. Okay. So imagine selling before something rips 4,000%. You're Naturally, most of you are going to want to shoot yourself. Well, I'm sorry to say that if you don't learn from other stuff, like you're going to do the same shit over and over and over again. Okay, 4,000% would get us. And so once again, do you notice how like, look at this. It looks like pebbles now, right? It looks like dirt. It looks like sand. Okay, this is also how it looked over here. Like once again, this looks like sand and pebbles now. But do understand, there was a time where this looked like a major dip. Look at this, right? There was a time where people thought it was the end of the world because it was down, wait, it was down more than it was now. It was down 85%. There were times where someone thought, oh, this is the worst coin I could have ever bought. I can't believe I'm down 85% before it rips up 5,000%. Guys, the shit repeats over and over and over again. But guys, as you know, many coins will dip 99% and they'll never come back up again. So what is the differentiating factor between the ones that end up going up another 4,000% after dipping 70 to 80% and the ones that never come back up? Guys, this is the most simple thing. It's the most important thing, though, you need to know in crypto. is It's all about finding how many people know about something today and how many more people are going to know about something in the future. You see, today... 36.9 thousand people know about his Twitter list. It's very easy and obvious to see that this is going to have over a million followers, meaning 30 times more people are going to find out about this at least because this, this list is growing every single day. More and more people are finding out about this. You're going to see this happen in Bitcoin. You're going to see this happen in SHIB. You're going to see this happen in Floki. The number one key differentiating factor between the ones that come way back up and the ones that don't come back up are how many people know about something today and how many people are going to know about it in the future. See, these are red candles. Do you know what a red candle means? That means the price went down because there were more sellers than there were buyers on that day. Okay, Poor sellers, poor guys who sold down here before it rips. Down here, bro, it looked like Bitcoin was never going to recover again after this. It looked like a complete bubble. Okay, but what was the number one key for why it came back up? Is more people found out about Bitcoin than they knew about it then, right? More and more people find out about something. When the when when more and more people find out about something, that's how you reach new highs. That's how you get more money flow. That's how you get more attention. So if you could understand here that more and more people were going to find out about Bitcoin, okay, then it doesn't matter what the price does in the short term. If it dips right here, oh my god, it dipped. 
41 percent okay oh my god it dipped you know 87 percent guys what is the key differentiating factor that I'm trying to explain to you in these coins that make it it's the ones where few people know about it today but many 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 more multiples of people are going to know about it in the future if you can find the coins that fit that criteria you're gonna find the winners guys of course they need to have good devs they need to have someone who's not gonna scam and dump them to zero right which monkeys doesn't have that Bitcoin doesn't have that right so look at this you know 80 81 percent it before going way 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 higher as this happens over and over again I'm telling you what the key differentiating factor is if you understand that you will win you will make it in crypto if you don't understand that every time on great winners you will sell the bottom you will be the red candle before going up four thousand percent that's the game once you understand that it gets a lot easier okay so I just want to point out this pattern how we're falling literally shib exactly and it's crazy and look at this you could literally say right here very similar look bottom number one bottom number two bottom number one bottom number two so similar it's crazy dude and once again how many people knew about SHIB here? Do you think 30 times more people found out about SHIB? You're damn right they did. Same thing is going to happen with monkeys, dude. You have a literal cheat code. You can see this list is growing every single day. Thousands of people are learning about it every single week. And, and that network is going to snowball. More and more people are going to find out about it. And I guarantee you this is going to cross 100,000 followers. This is going to cross 500,000 followers, which means you have a clear winner in, in front of you where you know this thing's going to have 30 times more people that are going to know about it. Look at that 73% dip down there. It looks like a joke, okay? It looks like a you can barely see it anymore. Just like this dip over here and this dip right now, just like right now, bro, people think this dip is big. When this dip isn't even as big as the first major 80-something percent dip that happened. In the more of these big dips that you get through, right? We already got through an 85% dip here, and now this one's 73%. The more of those dips you have, the less risky it overall gets as you go up because you have now 11,000 holders. Well, later, once we break these highs, guys, next time, okay, you're going to have like, bam, you're going to have, I don't know, 20,000, 30,000 holders. Now you have way more people backing and supporting something. And now this low turns into that low, turns into the next low. Okay, and as more and more people continue to find out about something, that is the number one, that's the number one determining factor of what makes new highs and what doesn't, guys. Especially when you're early, your job is to understand the differentiating factors between the winners that go back up 4,000% plus and the ones that never come back up. This is one that will come back up and it's going to make new highs and it's going to go on to go 4,000% from here. And then, guess what? There will be people who sold the bottom. And I can't wait to see the look on their faces when this shit rips up 40x without them. I cannot wait to see what they'll say when this is at a 400 million market cap. And guess what? There will be people who sold the bottom. Happens every time. Someone bought here at $1,200. They sold it at $300. And it goes on. It's like, wow, good job for buying here, selling here. You see that because you created a net loss, you're creating a net positive for the coin whenever you lose money, your loss has become someone else's gain. That's because you suck at trading, okay? That you have to be thankful that there are people willing to net lose for you to net gain, okay? That is the game we play. And once you understand that and you have definitive confidence with a thing and, and where it is today and how many more people will find out about it it gets so damn easy okay that's why these dips dude this dip is way easier than that dip in terms of percentages why because this is only a 73 percent dip 75 right now depending on where you measure this dip right here okay <laughs> this dip right here was uh you know 86 percent so this dip is actually easier than that dip Okay. It just looks bigger right now because you're you're looking at the present, right? But you need to know when you look when you were looking at the present over here, it also looked massive, right? That's crypto. Until it makes new highs and then it looks like pebbles. Okay? Once again, what if I told you 800 times this video? The key differentiating factor is how many people know about something today, how many more people will know about it tomorrow. Uh you know, in a month from now, 8 months from now, in a year from now. And that's why 
okay, this shit will look like pebbles later, okay? Because I guarantee you, this this follower list will cost a hundred thousand. It's gonna cost five hundred thousand, and when that happens, this is going to look like pebbles yet again. So pebble pebble phase number one. This will look like pebble phase number two, whenever we are up. Because why why would we be up? Because ten times more people will know about it. Twenty times more people will know about it. Okay, and when that happens, the network effect. The market cap is clearly going to be 10 to 20 times bigger. And that's the beauty in this. It's so obvious. It's so easy. Once you understand how many followers or how many uh, users or how many people know about something today and how many people will know about it in the future. Guys, I, I know I've said that so many times. That is the key factor. If you will just get that, you will win. If you're not following me on Twitter, you should go there. I called monkeys at 700k market cap on Twitter. If you weren't following me there, I posted on my YouTube about it uh, down when it was... 700k and uh, you know I would say 700k was a major point and I'm gonna say around 11 mil for example like this bottom right here I don't see it going below there um, you know like I said right when we know the overall how many people are gonna know about it that is the most important thing so yeah final words guys if you feel like you were late to the party you feel like you slept on this call earlier I'm telling you what we're seeing right now is going to be a very similar entry to 700k market cap again. Okay, absolute last thing I'm going to say. I just wanted to show this video that I find funny. Like, it's all written in the stars. It's all there in front of you. And Twitter, Twitter lists are actually pretty great. Yeah. You know, so... Like, this is not his first time talking about the Twitter list. Okay, he, he keeps telling everyone about this Twitter list. Oh, Twitter was such a good feature. Oh, 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 okay. Well, wonderful. Keep telling everyone how amazing Twitter lists are, Elon. Uh, you know, I cannot wait. Yeah, dude, he's gonna tweet about this shit. It's 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 all there, and you know, people in the future they're gonna say, "Oh, you were lucky. You were lucky. You bought a fucking coin called Monkey. You were lucky." And what I will say to that is, "Am I really lucky? Because there were people who sold the bottom. Okay, how was I lucky when there were people who fucked it up? There were people who sold on an eighty-five percent dip here. There were people who were frustrated and said, "Ah, oh, the marketing sucks. This coin sucks. It's the worst investment I ever made." And they sell the bottom. How am I lucky? Okay, because there were the unaware, there were the clueless, and there were the, the 1% that took advantage, and that actually made it, okay? It ain't luck, bro. It ain't luck. I, I refuse to let anyone tell me it's luck later, all right? Truly, put some respect on my fucking name when this is all said and done. I will see you later. Above 100 mil, above 400 mil. And guys, that's it, bro. Bye.